Look, he's coming. Guess what did I saw just now? A pretty girl wearing in this Chanel coat. It's so cool, isn't it? Ah, okay. The girl is cool. So it's Yeah, I saw the latest Chanel. Chanel is okay. Okay? No, no, just okay, baby. It's pretty nice. Calm down, John. We all know you are Chanel super fast. But I know something about Chanel. Sure. Actually, the glossy Chanel suit is my favorite. Look at this picture. I support that. The first Chanel suit has been designed in 1930. There has lots of bad suit designs that you are. How can you call this for me? I admit the man suit, but I don't agree the Chanel suit is for me the man suit. Because I think the originality is finding the connection between two existing elements and let them work together to find one. Tell me something and see if you can change my mind that Chanel suit is original. Cheers, girls. Fine. You know, I was not interested in fashion. Fair enough, I can't accept that the Chanel suit has changed the whole woman fashion style. Mm, but however, it doesn't really address my next point that Chanel suit copied the suit design. So it cannot be a good original one, I think. Hey, it's horrible. I'm just Fashion trend and the price is much 
cheaper than other brands. So it's why it is one of the most popular brands in the fashion market. Yeah, I understand what you mean. But do you know that Zara has made a fortune through a lot of clothes? Good design and low price means this company has a very competitive in fashion markets. Uh, and it means that Zara's design, Zara's clothes is very popular in the market, but it doesn't mean that Zara's design is original. Uh, Zara always accused by other brands about copyright. Fine. If you say that girls talk is a copyright, you got to show us the original design so we can see why Zara is ours. Chris, I saw you never asked. Okay, let's have a look at this. This is Slings design for 2014 springs. It shows a black ink brush on this top. This person looks like a can of Chinese painting and it's very fashionable. Do you still remember that girl's top? It has exactly the same color, I think. Mm, I admit how these two clothes look very similar, but I'm going to disagree with you. Look at this picture you showed us. So Lynx is an underwaist, but Zara sees a t-shirt. So the layout is different. Maybe Zara just inspired Slim. So you can't see what you know to say Zara is a comic. Uh, I think it's possible to say. You see the Chinese pumpkin brush I totally disagree. In this example, we can see the main design element for Zara has exactly the same as same. So, no matter how the details are different, we still can see it's original. I get the point completely. As a designer, I think originality and the creativity are the most important things. So, copy other brands' ideas cannot be accepted in the fashion line. But sometimes it's a bit difficult to judge a design is totally original or unoriginal. Because you know sometimes designers always get inspiration from others. Exactly, so that is one of the most difficult problems for fashion. Uh, in fashion we don't have a clear definition for copy, but maybe we can consider it to influence, uh, inspire and influence. Yeah, you're right. Sometimes it's hard to say if an idea is copy or not, in this industry we are at risk of being copied. I yeah, think it is. Maybe let's talk about some relaxing topics. But isn't you just come back from Tokyo International Anime Fire? Do you have fun there? Of course. That was so exciting. There were lots of concerts, especially as someone made my favorite role named Kaki Kiki. Mm, he let me remember the animation called Tokyo Bull. Yeah, I know that Tokyo Ghoul has been popular two years ago. It's wonderful, I think. Wait, what are you saying? I have no idea about the animation. Could you speak more about Tokyo Ghoul? Okay. Tokyo Ghoul is a Japanese animation. The story follows the hero named Kaneki Ken. Look, this is him. He falls in love with a woman named Riz. One day, Riz brings Kaneki to a remote place. In fact, Riz is a ghoul and she wants to eat him. Eat people, huh? So it's a story about a monster and a person? Why you say it's wonderful? No, 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 it's not about monster. Listen to me. Riz wants to eat Kaneki, but at the process of their fight, Riz dies because of an accident. And Kaneki has a serious heart. Doctors transplant a heart to him. The heart is from I agree that Tokyo Ghoul is great, but 
I don't think the theme is only. I remember another animation called Prosthetic. I think they had the same topic. I know Prosthetic. I didn't watch the animation, but I watched the movie. I remember the Parasitic also talk about two species. So it's the same as to Kufu, maybe he's right. Parasitic is the focus on the balance of species. Believe me, Kufu is really original. Yeah, I'm not sure. Do you have another reason support is original? Tell me about this. Support the justice. In this animation, we we'll stand on the both point. There is not exactly right or wrong. Um, you mean the storyline is very different from other animation? Ah, it's interesting. Yeah, I think that is a very convincing argument. There is no right or wrong between war, war and human. Uh, to some extent, I think you mentioned a very good. Yeah, I'm convinced. I can't wait. Watch it. Could you watch it again with me? Yeah. Let's go. Cool.